He's only 29 years old and widely considered still in the prime of his playing career, but he can't find a job. Former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick believes there's a good reason for that, and he's filed a formal complaint accusing the National Football League and the owners of the 32 professional football teams of colluding to keep him off the playing field. But it definitely is rattling for the league. If this case goes through, if he's able to, to prevail in this and prove that there was collusion among the owners to keep him out of the league, there's a very serious ramification for the NFL. Kaepernick has been unemployed since opting out of his contract with the San Francisco 49ers earlier this year. Last year, he launched what has become a movement when he took a knee during the national anthem to protest police brutality and racism. This season, some other players continue to do the same in solidarity. This weekend's games were no exception. An act of freedom of expression for them, but not in the eyes of President Donald Trump, who on Monday again commented about it. You're disrespecting our flag, and you're disrespecting our country. And the NFL should have suspended some of these players. The NFL brings in about $9 billion a year, making it the most lucrative sports league in the world. Attendance and TV ratings were already in decline, but there are signs that the controversy may be adding to the NFL's woes. Average ratings for the first five weeks of the 2017 season are just over 15 million viewers. That's a 7% drop in the same period last season, and a more worrying 18% drop from the more than 18 million viewers in 2015. And that could all have a knock-on effect for the amount TV companies and advertisers are willing to pay the NFL. The owners just don't like the distraction. The more that it starts to threaten their business model, then of course the league is gonna be upset. Now NFL bosses and team owners are set to huddle in this New York hotel for two days to try to come up with a response to the growing controversy they wish would just go away. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, New York.